Okay, everyone. JR Nightmare. And I wanted to do something a little different, so I got this idea from Century Productions. Everyone, you should check out his stuff. He's got great reviews and great stuff. Century Productions. Well, he did a top 10 your favorite Marvel Legends. So I'm going to do the same thing, except for I'm not going to put a, a number behind anything. There's just too many good figures out there, and I have a tough time deciding on what's number one. So I'll get started with my top 10 no particular number order just random and I'm gonna start out with Angel Warren Worthington the third now this figure he's great great figure and Toy Biz of course and with Toy Biz and everything you always figured like you always thought that you got more with your dollar he was part of a build a figure uh, Sentinel came with a little uh, stand but what sets this character off yes of course these massive wings these are huge and I just love this figure just the wings itself just bring out this figure now if any of you have Angel I want you to look really close at his face tell me that does not look like Brad Pitt just please tell me it does not look like him because as soon as I saw this figure, I was like, wow, that's Brad Pitt. I don't really care for Brad Pitt, but it's different. Now, this next one, people might say, what is he thinking? But like I said, this is my top ten. And Astonishing Cyclops. Now, if you're reading X-Men right now, this is the costume that he dons right now. And it seems like why he has this costume on, he is one bad ass. He's got all articulation. Um, this is a Hasbro figure, so you know how they feel when you move them around. They feel stiff. But what sets this character off for me, or this figure, is the paint job is one of the best that you will see. The solid blue. It's just real clean, real glossy, and... The visor is pretty nice. I like the two fingers where if you watch that or read the comics, he tends to push that to get his optic beam going. But yeah, I just, I love this figure. So, the next one I'm going to bring out is Defarc. Now, he hasn't been around in the comics too much right now. He had a cameo and a couple but just look at his detail this is some of Toy Biz's best work he's got articulation in all the limbs of course um, shoulder in and out up and down but just look at the face I mean this is just great the the finish of the red matches with the silver it's just awesome He's got a gun that connects to his chest. And it's just, this is just an awesome figure. Next one. Should be no surprise if anybody else has it. Black Panther. I mean, how can you not look at Black Panther and say, I gotta have this figure. He's got the claws. He's got all the articulation. Look at his, I mean, his cape is wonderful. And he, he was a toy biz, so he also was part of a Build-A-Figure. And he came with his own little stand, which those are a must to me. I love those stands. So yeah, he was a great figure. And if you're reading the comics right now, T'Challa, or T'Challa, that's his real name. He is um, a little injured right now. Near injured means near death. So... It's a good read. I recommend everybody picking that comic up. Now, the next one is a build a figure, but one of my favorite characters Annihilus. Um, Annihilus is one badass dude. This guy is great. I mean, he was a build a figure. I mean, the wings are his biggest asset. But just look at the detail in his face. He looks dead on from the comics. 
an annihilus of course he was responsible for the annihilation wave if nobody read that go pick it up annihilation basically he was responsible for destroying the scrolls world and countless other worlds so that's pretty much how secret evasion got kicked off because of this guy great figure like I said, he's part of the build a figure, so I recommend that you get him. Now I did a review on this guy, and I'm just gonna bring him out one more time. Ronin. Like I said, this could be my favorite Marvel Legend figure. Just cause how cool he is, just great looking. So look at my review and you'll see more on him. <coughs> now, this one might be different to others. But, yeah, this is, it's just a really, really awesome paint job. This is Hasbro, uh, Black Spider-Man. He's got full articulation, but just like Hasbro stuff, he feels like he's going to break every time you move him. But he's got great articulation everywhere. And the paint job, I said, just really sets this guy off. He's just awesome. So... Next, this one I really, really enjoy. I found out that I had her in storage, and I said, well, I gotta bring this one out. Storm, just complete awesome. I mean, like, whoever came up with the ideas for wall base, they need to go back to it, because these are all awesome. This one, she's like, she's riding on a a tornado the thun lightnings coming out I mean just look at her detail she has full articulation everywhere the hair I mean this is some great sculpting I mean it looks dead on from storm I know there's the she has the white uniform that's out there but I this black one is just does it for me this one is completely awesome well, next you're gonna go it's a good figure, but kind of disappointing in a way, but still great, is Cable. Now, this Cable, he came with some kind of funky weapon. This kind of turret gun or whatever. Uh, I was disappointed that they didn't come out with a handgun for him. But still, just the detail alone on this guy is enough. Great articulation. He's got the mechanical arm. He kind of reminds me of Bishop in a way, the color spec, but just a great figure to have. So, I'll kind of finish it out with Gambit. I mean, I found him in my storage area and I said, wow, I have Gambit. Oh, that's awesome. So, Gambit has great articulation everywhere just an awesome figure to have great color the cloth trench coat and like toy biz and marvel legends itself you always got more with your dollar and this wall mount or wall base or whatever is awesome looks like a sentinel's hand that was destroyed and you just kinda place him on there and he'll just chill you can put them on the wall. So I wish Toy Biz would go back to this. Or pretty much come back. Let's just say the Hasbro line is not doing it like Toy Biz did. So, so there's uh, my top ten. No particular order. No particular number. It's just stuff that I like. Thanks everyone.